these this is a, a, these are a series of poems uh, under the the title of Against the Wall. The first one, the buff-bellied hummingbird, um, Amazelia eucantanensis, after reading Mysterio for Octavio Path. With foraging call like the impatient secretary, flicking the top of a biro, wearing a hood of iridescent green, the bird seems fragile and innocent, with baby eyes about to be baptized, but evil and carnage already seen. If it could fly backwards over the board, it would do. Its tongue sips the flower of democracy, but it has run dry. How many of these tiny creatures must suffer its existence jeopardized by the hatred that fuels the frontier? And number two, the American Apposet. After reading the poem La Cal, I fly north to mate in the summer range. I do so in the erotic language of Hollywood and the dating sites. My call is like the guinea pig on speed. Our heads are like the pipe cleaners. There is beauty in our bills and our flight. Then we fly south to winter in Mexico, where we revert to the culture of love, and nobody follows us with binoculars. We're free to be a couple or a family. Number three, the blue metal mark, after reading El Desen Desenido. Like a Witchwood fan that calls someone on the veranda who sings, it is a butterfly that, in the schools, is not the first to be recited, but should be. La Saya Sula, Sula La Saya. It lands on the bonnet of a border control car and stretches out its blue wings. La Saya Sula, Sula La Saya. Number four. Creosote Bush. After reading La Vida Sencilla. Old timer, a uh, bush in the desert, a uh, Moses, a uh, Noah, flowers an explosion of yellow daffodil, like the ones on roundabouts bursting out in spring. But these rise out of the empty valley, smelling like a neighbor's fence. They are nothing to look at. In movies one just sees them as part of the scenery. But there they grow older than all the presidents, older than the conquistadors, old timers that in bars on both sides would shoot the breeze about when Christopher Columbus, George Washington and and the sound of the first Spanish word was number five tyrants come in all shapes and sizes they can be the newspaper kiosk owner who kicks his boys the husband who belittles his wife over the tiniest matter it can be the brother who pinches his sibling over a toy it can be the dog that nips the cat at dinner time. It can be the girl who mobs the disabled girl on the phone. It can be violent, it can be ugly, as the praying mantis eats the grasshopper. And all are common, all tragic, but none so tragic as when millions vote for this. And they must wait years until the drought of love is finally over. Number six. In the underestimation of the brilliance of a late January morning, when the hiss of an inactivity has one marooned under the quilt, the temptation to look as the eyes filled with the light one might all expect upon Venus, the tilt of the morning sun beams through the conduit of ice cur lace curtains that shadow imaginary beasts. Still the sleeper resists, as the warmth and comfort of slumbering in a dream where one controls destiny for a while, has the cloud of quilt to conceal time and day, to steal into the land of fantasy, to relinquish the grasp of the outside that trembles with anxiety, executed billions of years ago by the explosions of matter. Nothing matters but the sleep, as the hummingbird in fine voice, sunbeam, chirps an alarm, you descend into the dream. And number seven for Octavio Path. I listen to Octavio across the board of inhumanity, where the heart sets in the coldness like the desert at night. I listen to your voice across life and death among the succulents and cacti as a lizard sips the dawn, as a child of four with hand 
firmly clenched to his mother, runs, and I listen to you as both look at the dreams of your people like the contents of a music box whose key has been filched. I listen to you, Octavio, as the hatred of buzzard flaps its large wings above. What was hopes and wishes as the mother and child, a veritable Madonna and Christ, are transported back from a life promised by the country of the border? And I listen to you, Octavio Path, as it rains terribly. It rains.